Saturday. We might have side tournaments throughout the weekend. Or if you just want to come one day, it'll be 10 bucks instead for Venny Fee. But regardless, let's jump into the first match. So he's not playing Marth, so I am deeply upset. Or Marth or Lucina. Se seems to be playing a Captain Falcon. So we'll see what we can go with this. Lucas, you know, from Black Sheep. Wanna know Black Sheep? He got with the sour spot knee? Whoa! Wait, 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 wait. This guy, this guy might be the real deal. Hold on a second. He actually got that. My man put him all the way down there. Forced the PK Thunder to come out. And he's got footstool combos? Wait, hold on. Who is this guy? I want his autograph. So, someone go, someone go. Find me a piece of paper. We got and e pen. coming out of nowhere. Dude! <laughs> I still hate Falcon, but like, it's fun to like watch a Falcon that knows what they're doing. I miss Nixie. Is he? No. Okay. The Raptor, the Falcon dive actually assisted Lucas a little bit to get back to the stage. Gave him some more vertical room. Good setup. Going for the short hop up there into down tilt just to push him off stage. Just, okay. We're risking. Oh, he still got the uppie after the tech. Trying to apply some shield pressure. I think he wanted to go for a cross-up. That little back air. This could be Black Sheep's time to shine. He's looking for the grab. One grab would definitely get this uh, Captain Falcon out of here. Force Smash trying to catch that landing. He's not giving it to him. Offstage pressure. Going super deep. He expended his double jump. Nice cross-up from Black Sheep. Getting right behind him with the up tilt. Catches his falling with an up air. He's still living. Challenges him with a Falcon kick. Putting him into free fall. Where's he going? Goes back to the ledge, got some jabs, trying to play this little footsie game. Black Sheep just trying to close some distance with that reverse uh, PK fire. It gets caught by Falcons back here with a two stock coming from Mr. E's son. My God. You know, it, it actually makes sense that uh, Mr. E's son would be a Falcon main. When you, th when you, when you don't think about it. So game number two, Black Sheep a little, uh, little frazzled from that uh, game number one. Didn't expect to get that in your, you know, first game. We got Lilac Cruz getting striked immediately. Get that stage out of here. Why is that stage still legal in 2018? It's gone now. Mm. Pardon, I had to quench my thirst. We got the Pikachu counter pick coming out from Black Sheep. Oh, Devin, I forgot to tweet that we're live. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tweet that while I commentate. Watch me multitask. <laughs> the right. worst multitasking of my life. Uh, okay. So. What's up, Devin? How's your day? Pretty, pretty okay. Yeah? I guess. Yeah. Uh, but now we chilling. We're here. What do you think of this Falcon? Dude, E, e is my new favorite player. Dude, I mean, I, E I'm was already <laughs> one of my favorite players, but now E is also yeah, one of my yeah, favorite players. E is my two favorite players. Yo, facts, yeah, actually. Uh, dead ass. <laughs> like, I wouldn't imagine that E, like, had a Falcon. It's crazy. I know. I, it caught me so off guard that uh, he just put the uh, Falcon away. Oh, oh no. Black Sheep was All doing right. so... Oh, I mean... That was still a terrible trade. He was at 39%. Definitely. And Falcon was at 111. Uh, Let's see if we can bring this back. I mean, the Pikachu counterpick definitely doing some magic out here. I mean, the second uh, that's the second time Black Sheep got it up till at 0%, just continually just like adding on tons of damage to E. I feel like uh, this is definitely a matchup where if you don't know how to fight against Pikachu, it could definitely like mess with you. He is a slippery Pokemon. Great patience coming up. He's just going for the walk into the grab. I can dig it. I think behind him. Right there, you saw Black Sheep trying to go for a down smash, expecting E to fast fall into it. He saved his double jump just in time. Catches him with the thunder. Yeah, this is definitely looking like maybe like a matchup inexperience for E, because I don't know. Like he just can't seem to hit Black Sheep at all. He doesn't know what's going on. So I definitely like missed most of this match. But I mean, Pikachu is one of those characters that is a bit of a counter pick for Falcon. Yeah. He's small, so he's hard to hit. And he's really fast, so he's also hard to hit. He literally hit him like a total of three or four times. Yeah, understandable. Yeah. Um, yeah, Pikachu is that kind of character that normally Falcon has like, he can use his speed for a lot. 
in the fact that he has a larger burst range where he can put you in that unreactable uh, distance where you're like, oh, okay, I just have to hard read what he's doing. But Pikachu's like, yeah, I have that too. And uh, try and grab me, fool. You can't, you know. So it's definitely a bit of a tough counter pick for him. And so just like that, we see E switching to Mario. Now, Mario is definitely a character who can contest with Pikachu. While Pikachu is faster, when Mar Mario has, like, meaty hits, they linger, you know, and they have that soft... Uh, anytime that they linger for Mario, like, they have a soft hit. So, like, Mario's just like, oh, all right, tap. You ready to go for a ride? Yeah, all I right, mean, here we go. I'm up air, up air, up air. Whenever you know? I see Stuff Mario like versus Pikachu, I always think of the 3DS days. Like, the, yeah, the demo. Definitely. When you only had, like, five characters, Mario and Pikachu being one of them, or two of them. Yeah. Definitely fought this a lot. It's the only reason I even know how to play as Mario's because that that demo. This is lit. classic. All right, so right here, that was, ooh, we got the so E seems to be a fan of the jab lock setups, or at least like the footstool setups rather. Yeah, I mean that's something that like was one of like the flashy things that you can do as Mario. So when you're picking up Mario, you're like, yo, I'm gonna do yeah, I'm that. Just gonna do, I mean, he was doing it with Falcon earlier too. So yeah, my man definitely laughs. Oh, call him out. All right. Someone tell me E is Twitter. Yeah, I, I want to know, dude. Maybe it's E SSV. Honestly, that would be this crazy. is a good first set. Yeah. Well, like, holy crap! I'm glad we did this. Ooh. Trying to splash him a little bit. That flood on there. I mean, flood's a really good tool for just trying to push the opponent backwards and just kind of mess up their spacing a bit. That was a, kind of a risky dash stack, but not the correct follow up for E. Thought he was gonna go for like an air dodge. Trying to beat out that air dodge himself. So this is definitely one of the situations that, as Mario, you want to be in. Like, obviously everyone wants to be in a stock lead, but like when you have a character like Mario, like one of his shortcomings that he has difficulty like getting the kill, like even that kill that he got, it was a read, you know? Yeah. So him being in this situation is really good because now he's just like, all right, I can just play. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's is he dead? Yeah. Ah! And, oh, my camera. Ah! All right. Wow. 